So there have been a bunch of visual novels I've been meaning to review, but it's just been a while, so I don't remember a lot of the details. So I figured I can talk about them in a video series I'm going to call Ange's Visual Novel Quick Recommendations. The idea is I like all these visual novels and would like to recommend them to people in 3 to 5 minutes or less. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Sujiro-san no Junai Road, which was developed by Minato Carnival and got a fan translation by Sude Sude Scans. But before I continue, I want to give a huge shout out to Jer, who continues to volunteer to edit for some of my random videos like these. Always much appreciated. The best genre I can put Sujiro-san no Junai Road is, is a comedy action romance visual novel. The setting is kind of unique, where all the three main heroines are delinquents of some sorts. Two of the main heroines are physically the most powerful women in the area. The main girl, Ai Sujido, is the daughter of a well-known delinquent of the Inamura chain and is technically the leader of a group, but many times she just wants to do her own thing and play with animals. Maki Koshigoe is basically Ai's direct rival, and unlike Ai, who is part of a group, Maki is definitely the lone wolf of the main heroines, is a runaway and lives on her own with just her bike. Rena Katase is by far the least physically powerful of the three main heroines, but she's essentially a female Yakuza leader who has by far the biggest goals of the main heroines, actually wanted to take over and takes advantage of her smarts and cunning instead, hiring large groups of powerful people to take on Ai and her group, as well as Maki and other little delinquent groups. Getting more into the visual novel itself, I would say its primary genre is comedy, even when there's battles going on, there's usually some kind of comedic aspect to it, and there are a decent amount of comedic jokes floating around throughout. And a lot of this humor was the various characters roasting each other. However, while the tone of the visual novel is mostly lighthearted, there is a surprising amount of drama in it, to the point I honestly might not even call it a moege. I won't spoil what it is exactly, but there's a pretty interesting twist towards the end of the common route that's quite unique and influences how the main routes go. Let's just say the title girl will be a huge part of every route, even when she's not the main love interest in question. The world building is surprisingly good even for a light-hearted slice of life action VN. There's a whole bunch of side characters, and the way the visual novel shows how the delinquent nature affects all aspects of the main city of Enoshima Island, and how other delinquent groups have to fight for territory and stuff was pretty interesting to see alongside the romance stuff. As said earlier, the three main heroines are very tough and strong in their own way, and I would say this aspect alone is likely a huge reason why you would even want to read this visual novel. Of the routes, I would say Rena's by far has the best plot and world building, Maki's probably has the best drama, and Ai's probably has the best overall romance. Unfortunately, I do have to cover what is generally considered the almost universal flaw of this visual novel, the protagonist Hiroshi. He does start off as your typical nice guy protagonist, but he actually goes a little bit further in some of the routes and goes into very open and a bit sometimes unreasonable pacifism. It can get to the point where he gets stubborn over weird things and honestly makes me wonder why he's even interested in dating these delinquent girls outside of the whole opposites attracting thing. There are a couple I guess you can call side routes, but they're so short and very Nukige-like that I don't even consider them worth talking about. There are a heavy slew of other female characters in this visual novel, but sadly, many of them don't get routes until future untranslated fan discs, or straight up just don't get routes in the series at all. Which is unfortunate because there's quite a number of likable side female characters, with my personal favorite being the class rep Ayumi Hojo with her goofy glasses and motherly-like attitude. I won't say who, but there's a heavily implied side character couple, which is surprisingly rare to see in visual novels, and always nice to see on a personal level, because not all the girls have to flock to the main protagonist. In conclusion, while Sujido isn't the best action or comedy or lighthearted romance visual novel, I still think it's a pretty fun time. I would heavily recommend it if you are interested in the idea of dating tough, powerful delinquent girls, want to see more lighthearted comedy visual novels, or are just interested in a unique setting and seeing how heavy delinquency can affect the characters and their goals. I've avoided talking about and comparing it up to this point, but if you've read Majikoi Love Me Seriously, then Sujiro san no Junai Road is one of the closest VNs you'll get to matching the tone of Majikoi, but doesn't quite get there because of the lack of the big group of friends thing and much less female heroine options. 
That said, Machikoi and Sujiro were made by s the same sister companies, so they're technically in the same universe, and Sujiro does have a few small references to Majikoi. Finally, just keep in mind that Sujiro is only fan translated, so you're not going to be finding it on Steam or many of the various official English publisher stores. If you're interested in this visual novel, have read it before, or have any questions about this video, feel free to leave a comment below.